What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be covering the PCV on the LS. Now in the past setup that I've had, I just ran it as a breather setup. And typically there's two kind of set of thinking when it comes to PCV and an LS and a turbo setup. Uh, one group would say just run it with a breather and you'll be good. And then the other group says you have to have a PCV setup at a very minimum a cash can. Okay. Now I'm not sure if the neighbor's music is going to come through in the camera. Hopefully it doesn't and become a problem as a background music for YouTube, but we'll see. Now I have used just a breeder setup on my old setup. I didn't have any problems with it, but at the same time I was only running like 20, 22 PSI. Nothing like this where I'm hitting 25, upwards 30, and I'm kind of thinking I might have to go to 35 PSI as well. So it's a lot of boost, a lot of power. I'm also running E85, and yeah, just a mess. So the way I have this thing set up is I have one hooked up here, goes through, to the catch can and vents out and then that well this thing tees off before it gets to the catch can now with this setup it's essentially a breather setup but it does collect a lot more of the moisture there before it vents it out but you gotta keep in mind with this setup there is nothing pulling the air out of the engine so that means the only way it will evacuate is if I have a positive uh, pressure in the engine so it gets pushed out through the breather and everything or through the catch can so what I want to do is I want to test it out. I mean in theory I don't think I really need to test it because I do feel like the only way it's going to leave is through positive pressure. Um, but we're going to test it anyway to see what that looks like. And then I'm going to go adapt a different type of setup uh, that would actually pull through the intake um, side of things and actually pull through some air. Alright this is going to be hard to show but you can actually feel a little bit of pressure on this thing like air coming out which is kind of expected right um, but I'm not sure how much pressure this thing will actually have now ideally it should be zero or a little bit of a vacuum but we'll, we'll see if we can get some sort of pressure on this other than just a uh, little bit of flow Alright, so now that we know what our baseline is, the goal for the car is really just to get a little bit um, under zero. And of course, you don't want too much vacuum because then you start running to other problems as well. So, let's see if we could build a setup that would satisfy our requirements. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is take off all our old setup here and old lines. So let's see what's in here. I haven't opened this in... Uh, couple weeks but again I barely use the car so it feels like a good amount we'll see what how much exactly Whew. it's a lot of condensation this is one of those thirty dollar um, catch can it looks like a pretty good design which is why I picked it but we're gonna make it just a little bit better uh, at least works better with our system here now this new one that I bought it does have a spot here for uh, a filter which is I'm gonna go like this but I'm not sure if I wanna put it there as an open one or keep it closed I'm thinking maybe I could put a, a valve in like a one-way valve that way if you know things get backed up you could essentially push it through um, yeah Alright guys, so here's how my catch can is going to be set up. Uh, I do have a PCV valve right off the valve cover right here. Uh, this is just to limit the flow that's going in. Uh, I'll go into the catch can and then come out through here. You will stop by or go through a one-way flow valve. That way I don't pressurize the crankcase. Now this is also one way and I'm using that as a backup just in case this gets plugged up for whatever reason and you can't exit, right? Um, if it does put in more pressure right here, this will actually allow it to vent one way. So it doesn't allow the air to come in. That way it's not bypassing the valve cover uh, suction. Now for this valve cover, it does have this already. So that's where that's going to go. So that will take care of one side right here. And I'll show you guys that once it's done. Now the passenger side is going to be a little bit odd. And by the end of this video, I'm going to figure out what it is that I want to do. Because I could essentially just put a filter. And then that will make the flow of air go that way, right? 
or I could also connect this to the turbo right in the very front right here so it could create a little bit more vacuum under boost I think I'll do that but I probably would want to run a catch can just in case alright guys so here it is fully hooked up again from the valve cover you have a PCV valve goes into a catch can with a bypass just in case and then that right there goes into the intake manifold now I do have a one-way flow valve right there so you don't want boost to go into your crankcase the only thing that I'm kind of concerned about is this right here for the brake booster I'm not sure if that's gonna pull enough vacuum to be able to make the brake booster work on this side ignore this thing this is just for measuring the actual pressure or the pressure on the crankcase for this side this is kind of sketch but this is the best one I can come up with with the time that I have uh, essentially what I want is with the car on cruising or idling it will pull vacuum so it'll go this way this will be serving as an intake kind of direction now with it on boost that will shut off so I won't have any way for it to evacuate the only way for it to get out is of course that right there this is a one-way flow valve so any sort of pressure it will bend it out that way but also this thing should in theory pull into the turbo alright so the car pulled a lot better at least compared to how it was running previously so I do definitely think the new system is a much better setup also as an added bonus I didn't drive home with the turbo all smoking like it normally does so my guess is with the pressure that I was able to build when I was actually on boost it probably was you know jamming up the oil drain on the turbo so it's not letting it fully drain out now I still have one psi or roughly about one psi during boost so I need to figure that one out as well what I'm thinking is of course this is temporary but when I redesign this I'm gonna be using like a 10 an spigot line as possible so I would get it from here all the way to the turbo so it makes it easier for the turbo to really pull all that air out of the crankcase overall though I'm pretty happy with how this thing turned out I think I might have freed up a little bit more horsepower as well so that's always good so I've addressed the oil feed I've addressed the PCV the last thing really to look at is our oil drain it should be good because I actually went 12 an for the drain but at the same time it is pretty long drain from the turbo all the way back to the the oil pan so maybe there's some sort of improvement that I could make there and then I think that should be it so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time